This is the first of potentially many teacher video blogs or vlogs, so I hope you enjoy it. Good morning, Granite City High School. This is my first hour, and it's Algebra Fundamentals. Say hello, everybody. Hi. Hey. Yes, they all love math this early in the morning. They're like, teach me math. Have a great day. Well, that's the end of first hour. I'm getting ready for my second hour class to come in, which is a co-taught uh, freshman class, and uh, uh, it's Probably one of my favorite classes of the day. Welcome to third hour pre-calc, where everybody's taking an opportunity to prove what they have learned so far in the last section by taking a quiz and resisting the temptation to run screaming from the room. So not really an exciting day in pre-calc today, but uh, we'll try to have some fun in a little bit. All right, so Mr. Mosslander apparently can, uh, well look, I'm not looking at mine either. Mr. Mosslander can solve the Rubik's Cube apparently as well, so we're gonna go ahead and both solve the Rubik's Cube for you while some other students finish up taking their quiz for pre-cal. All right, are you ready? All right, so go anytime you're ready. Just remember that if you beat me, that you know it won't affect your grade at all, okay? I would never hold that against you. See, he beat me. His was much easier to solve. It was not thoroughly mixed up. That's what it was, right? See, I'm almost done, but maybe, maybe it'd be more impressive if I just did the rest of it behind my back. Would that be more impressive? Now it's going to be really bad if I can't do this. Video. Just redo it. 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 Just there you go. The rest of it is behind my back, and Mr. Mosslander did not do that. Hello again. Well, it's 4-1, and so that means for me, it's uh, what many of you probably have as your favorite time of the day, and it's time to go to lunch. So you can travel with me. Stole it. Stole it. Navigating the uh, busy hallways. Not too bad. Hey, there we go. Hey. See ya. Wow. And that just shows you people cannot avoid looking at a camera and saying something. Look, this is what teachers do during their lunch. We actually eat. You know life can't be too terribly bad when the worst part of your day is that you forgot to tell them no mayonnaise on your sandwich. Hi, it's the end of uh, fourth hour and getting ready to have a uh, algebra fundamentals class come in fifth hour. Uh, it's predominantly freshmen and with a few sophomores that are in that class. Um, it's got 32 students in it, so that can be a bit of a challenge, but uh, fortunately it's a code talk class, so once again, uh, we have two of us in here and we're able to try to help those kids be as successful as possible. Um, one of the questions I think that I had written down that I was supposed to answer was, um, what I think of freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Um, honestly, I, I enjoy teaching all the different levels of math here at Granite City High School, so I like having freshmen, I like having sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Um, to me, the only difference is that uh, the freshmen aren't quite there yet as being those juniors and seniors, so you hope that your juniors and seniors have, have learned some stuff along the way here and they've gotten more mature, and my philosophy is that uh, when I have those freshmen or sophomores in class, I'm there to try to help guide them along. Hopefully uh, help them enjoy being in a math class and become the juniors and seniors that we end up having here at Red City High School. Okay, so fifth hour just ended. Sixth hour is getting ready to come in. That's a 
advanced pre-calculus class. Um, and at this point, uh, you know, it's, I'm just glad that the temperature is still only like 77 degrees in my room last week. It was about 86 at this point and we were just dying. So um, it's a good, good group of kids coming in, uh, juniors and seniors. And uh, unfortunately for them, they get to take a quiz when they come in. So I'm sure they're not too thrilled about that. But uh, we'll get through that and we'll learn some pre calculus I do enjoy music. Um, I'm always breaking into song or whistling a tune or something like that. Um, and uh, um, I do enjoy playing guitar. Um, I have a ukulele now that my kids seem to take away from me all the time because they want to play it. So I don't get a whole lot of time playing the ukulele, but I do play guitar. I like to play a lot of different types of music. So one of the questions was, what uh, type of songs do you like to play on guitar? So I went through my list trying to think of, is there one area that I really like the most? And so basically on my, my list of favorite songs to play, I went through it and I had Alan Jackson, The Beatles, Billy Currington, Buddy Holly, CCR, Darius Rucker, Dwight Yoakam, Garth Brooks, George Strait, Green Day, Hank Williams, Jason Mraz, Johnny Cash, The Red Hot Chili Peppers, U2, Zach Brown, and The Violent Femmes were the ones that kept coming up the most. So as you can see, it's a lot of different things. Um, part of that is that I enjoy getting together with some of my friends and we sit down and we pick different songs that we want to try to play together uh, as a trio. I've got a friend of mine who plays lead guitar, another friend that plays bass guitar. We play in, our, in a church band, but we also have a little trio that we do. We get together and play a lot of these songs. So just for fun, it's an avenue for us to just kind of sit down and relax and de-stressor. We go and we play sometimes at Cool Beans um, on open mic night and um, that's a lot of fun. It's fun to see a lot of the other people that come there and play. And I just didn't really like the fact that uh, Cool Beans and other businesses are trying to revitalize our downtown area. And I'm from Granite City so I really think that's a great thing. We should be trying to do what we can to make this town a better place and I feel like those people are definitely doing that. Another question was asked what pet peeves I have so I just came up with a couple off the top of my head, uh, uh, one of them is always when people say that they could care less about something, and it should be, I couldn't care less, and I know it sounds really silly, but um, it just doesn't make any sense the other way, and for whatever reason, I let that bother me. It also bothers me when I'm driving down the street and I see somebody in a sports car and they're driving like five miles per hour under the speed limit. Um, I feel like if you've got a sports car, you should be using it, <laughs> at least drive the speed limit. Um, corny jokes is another thing, or dad jokes is what I usually have students saying that I do. Um, wanted me to tell some corny jokes. Well, um, it's hard to do on the spur of the moment. It's just stuff that comes up in class and sometimes things come out of your mouth and you can't stop them and it's just a corny joke, but at least it gets the attention of your students. Well, that's the end of my classes for today, so that means now it's time to grade some quizzes, uh, grade some homework and get some copies made so that I have those ready for next week. And uh, just another day here at Granite City High School. So this isn't an everyday thing, but it is an occasional thing that I have to return some of Mrs. Heath's stuff that she has left in my classroom. She's my co-sponsor for NHS and sometimes uh, leaves stuff behind. She's a great teacher, but not always the best in organization as far as picking up her stuff that she has. So there's Mrs. Heath. Yeah, here's your stuff, Mrs. Heath. Thank you so much. You're welcome.